So uh, the Cree language house is a language immersion experience. So uh, what we literally do is bring together young people, uh, elders, language speakers and language teachers into a physical house, into an immersion experience. So that means that the people in the house are only speaking Cree. Uh, there's no English allowed in the house. Um, so it's a complete immersion experience and uh, for many Indigenous communities, immersion has been shown to greatly increase the fluency of, of speakers and learners. Uh, so this immersion opportunity is really important in terms of passing on Indigenous languages to the future generations, especially young people at this point. Um, for myself, um, my great-grandmother spoke Cree and Michif. And uh, Machif itself is a language that is quickly disappearing uh, or not being passed on to the future generation. So these immersion uh, houses are really uh, important for immersing young people in the language in hopes of creating a community of learners um, who want to learn the language and keep it going on to the next generation. So the Cree Language House is a, an opportunity to have um, the Cree language be brought back for some people or a starting point to get the language for people who are interested in speaking Cree. I hope at least they'll be inspired to, to continue on once the language house is over. My hope is that they'll leave and feel um, the beauty in reconnecting with their language um, and, and, and that part of their self and their ancestry and, and be inspired enough and motivated enough to continue to pursue uh, language learning opportunities for themselves and others because I suspect it will be um, contagious in the sense that people will feel such excitement about it and and how easy it, it could be and should be to get your language back.